Welcome back. Today I'm going to give you a little insight and know-how on how to use one of these engine hoists. They're pretty easy to use. They've got different names. Cherry picker, engine hoist. There's a lot of great things to them and there's a lot of dangerous things to them. So let's get right into it. Now the engine hoist is made up of a couple of different things. You've got the adjustable legs that will go out so that way you can support more weight. You've got the bottle jack here, which is what actually lifts up the shank up and down. And then you've got the adjustable shank here. I had to weld on my own handle back here, but sometimes they come with them. Also, some of the cheaper or some of the Harbor Freight versions of this, you can actually take the legs off and slide them up into little slots up here. So these legs don't have any sort of adjustment marks or anything like that. What I tend to do is I'll pull them out a distance and then measure them and then replicate that on the other side. And the way that you adjust them is there's a nut right at the end of each of these legs. And you just undo this and this piece slides out. It's the same way for the ones, these longer ones here in the front. There's a nut right here and then that piece slides out. So you can do this with a sizable wrench. I just use a crescent wrench because I don't have to adjust them very often. And what you do is just left hand thread. So just go ahead and start loosening up the bolt. You don't have to take it all the way out. Just get it off of that because what it does is that bolt goes in to the arm or the leg rather and holds it in place. So once you've got it loose, go ahead and lift it up a little bit and you can slide it out. And like I said, then measure this from here to here and replicate it on that side. And then once you've got it out to the length that you want, then you just go ahead and tighten it down. You know, put a nice little push on that. And there you go. Now your legs are adjusted. Next thing you're probably wondering is, well, what is this thing I have hanging here? Well, instead of just using a chain, some people like to use these. What this is, is a load leveler. So it's got four points that you can secure on, two in the front and two in the rear. And then what this does is, so say the engine was tipped forward too much, then what you do is you turn this out and this would go forward and it would go up here and it would essentially level the load kind of like a scale for what it was holding. So these come in really good handy. Um, you've also got, you know, just your basic chain that you could use. That seems to work pretty well. Um, I like to use these, so I've just always kind of got it hanging there. And the next thing you're going to want to know is how to use the bottle jack and how to service it. So this one came with this. I got this engine hoist off of an old farmer, and um, I haven't had to change out the bottle jack. It's work just fine for me so this is what you need to know so if you want to raise the boom up and down to raise it up you just put this in here I had to make this mine didn't actually come with a uh, a shaft to put in there to kind of jack it up so and I've actually found this works a lot better so you could put this little hook right down here at the end and just rock your hand like that but basically what I'm doing here is just lifting up and I'm pumping it and what that's doing is that's raising the boom up and then to lower it there's always one of these little shanks right here let me zoom in so you can see that right here and what you're gonna do is it's usually a T shape and uh, I've cut out notches on here so that way I, it'll fit right over the top of it and I like this a lot more than the ones that actually come with it because there's more room. So if I'm trying to move an engine around and there's a lot of weight that I'm dealing with, I could just slide this over the top of it pretty easily and know that I'm on there and not, oh, am I on there or not. And then what you do is you slowly crack it open and then you start to just slowly turn it and it'll start to go down. So like I said, when I slowly turn it, that it starts to go down just like that. And if I want it to go up, then I put it in here and I start pumping it up just like that. 
So if you ever need to service one of these, and you usually don't, but what you need to do is you need to remove this whole unit, drop it all the way down to its lowest point. By that, you'll unscrew this, like I said, all the way down. And then you will bolt this area here and this area down below. And once you do that, then you'll take it onto your workbench or wherever you have, you can pull this little tab here. And then there's hydraulic oil that's filled up in here. And you're going to want to dump that over and dump all the hydraulic oil out and fill it all the way back up. Then what you're going to want to do is reinstall everything. You're going to tighten this down, your little T down here for tightening the air. And then what you're going to do is you're going to loosen it two full turns. So there's a half, one, half, two. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pump the solenoid ten times. Okay, and then you're going to tighten up the T again all the way. And this, what we're doing right now is bleeding out your bottle jack. So then what you'll do is you'll jack this up so it's all the way at the very top and then you can take measurements. And as you can see these hoists go up pretty high. This one measured out to 18 inches for the boom. So then once you have it at its highest point and you've measured from here to here, go ahead and write that down. That way if you're lifting the, an engine up you can actually look and see, well, you know, do I have any more clearance that I can go up a little higher to actually get the engine over and in, or am I going to have to take out core support or something of that nature. Then all there is to do is just go ahead and lower it, and if it's pumping up fine, then you don't have to go through that again, but if you're having issues pumping up the boom and it's giving you trouble, then go ahead and empty it out and put new fluid in it, or repeat those steps that I just gave you for having to open it up two times, pump it ten times, close it, and then jack it all the way up. If you got a decent crane, you've got uh, some markings. So this one's uh, one and a half tons, one ton, and then half ton. So depending on the weight that you're lifting, and make sure you calculate the transmission if it's mated up to the engine. I usually keep it at about one ton. Uh, it usually doesn't exceed that. Um, but if I was lifting, say, like a big diesel engine or something like that, or, I don't know, something really, really heavy, a car, <laughs> then, you know, I might move it up to one and a half. But this gives me enough length that I can do what I need to, and I can extend out the legs as well. And the way this is done is there's a bolt that runs through here, so loosen the bolt, slide the shank in to the next point, insert your bolt, and then tighten down the nut on the other side and you're good to go on that. When you're hooking up your motor to a chain or whatever, you're going to want to hook up to something that's usually connected to the heads. Um, I found that these uh, intake manifold bolts work just fine. Um, you're not going to be able to see that side. Um, also sometimes these uh, accessory bolts on the front of the heads, those are also a good place to hook up to. You can see here on the driver's side head, you've got a bunch of open bolt holes here. And just make sure you use grade 8 bolts, and you should be good to go. So now I'm going to show you actually being used in a real life situation. So given this engine is on an engine cradle, and I'm not going to be installing it into a car anytime soon, I'm going to take the engine hoist, just to demonstrate for you, get it lined up over the center. You want to lift up your chain, you want to find out which one is going to be about in the center. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's going to slip either way. And go ahead and put that on there. Then start pumping up the hoist. And you want to go slow. Once you get tension on there, you want to come up. And make sure that everything is good on there. And then you're going to slowly, when you're first lifting it up off the ground, keep putting that tension on there. And slowly lift it up to make sure that there is nothing wrong with how it's being pulled up or anything like that. And that went up just perfect. Just like that. When you're going to set this thing down, if you're lowering it into an engine bay or whatever you're doing with it, make sure you do this 
very slow. I would even pick it up just to practice and then set it down just practicing onto a tire or whatever. Because anything and everything is just practice, practice, practice. That's all it is. Anything and everything. If you want to get good at something, you got to practice. So, when you do this and you're lowering it in and you've got somebody spotting you, which yes, that's a good idea to have too, you want to go very slow. So crack it open like I showed you earlier and just slowly let it down. There's no rush in this. You don't want to break something like an oil pan or an ear off of a motor mount or something like that. It is not something you want to do. So that's, that's it. And remember, if you like what you saw here today or any of my other videos, make sure you subscribe. I upload videos twice a week, so tune in on Friday for the newest episode of the Coyote Car Channel.